Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with Bionicle 2015 Toa Pohatu Master of Stone video review. So, this guy was actually kind of neat. Um, this was the surprise out of the box. I did not think I'd like this guy nearly as much. And out of the box, it's one of the last ones I put together, and I said, wow, this guy is awesome. He probably has the best proportions that any other figure has. For one, he has the his shoulders about where they're supposed to be if this was an actual human. So, um, shoulders in the right positions. Very high remarks on that. Um, one thing I thought was weird, and I didn't catch this at first, and then I caught it later on. Uh, he's got two different colored arms here. He's got black, and then he's got the weird translucent, and then on the outer side he's got all the silver, and then the brown. Weird. I'm not one for uh, symmetri asymmetrical things, but this one's actually not bad. Um, and they kind of give him like a Wild West, uh, not even, not, not Wild West, Australian kind of feel to him with uh, the spikes on his arm, and the boomerangs and i will say when i put the spikes on his arm and saw the color and assembled these and i'm like oh wow it's captain boomerang in lego form and unfortunately that's kind of how i feel this guy is received but um pretty neat they they kind of fold up and do some cool things um i guess they're just like air shoe type things you know pop it on his foot and one on each foot, and now he can fly. Yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. So, I don't like his alternate mode for his weapons, but... Whatever. His primary mode's pretty cool. I don't mind the boomerangs. Now, originally, we can go back to the Toamata form. He had kick shoes, and the ability to kick things. Um... Now, he's actually got the same exact gimmick that the rest of them do. So, you can move his arm. Now, he also includes a stopper in this one. Um, one thing I would like to note, um, if you're watching this video, and I did not mention this in the other ones, this stopper piece, I was watching some other reviews online, and everybody has, like, oh, we have no idea what these are. We've never seen them before. If you want more than one to block both of them, then you need to buy another set. No, those are pretty standard in older sets. Um, they're called Cranks, according to the official LEGO part catalog. Um, you can find them in the NXT sets. NXT, EV3, all those have those Cranks in them. So, if you're wondering about that. Uh, oh, also... When you go to put those on his feet, he doesn't end up having a weapon. So, you pull off this uh, armor piece on his back, and he ends up with a dagger. Which is interesting, but it's one of the older pieces, too, from the Rockshi. So, they're still around. Certain pieces. So, um, then, I, I kind of thought this was weird, but it's kind of like a weird, large, like, uh, boot from... I don't know, kind of Three musketeers -y to me. But, um, which is kind of cool nod, because it bends like that, instead of keeping with the, uh, leg. I like this. I think this is one of the coolest, uh, leg pieces. They made his leg big, because, you know, he kicks things. Like, the original one came with a boulder to kick. So, that, that was a cool nod to the original in my opinion. He's got the silver boots that go up to his, uh, over his knees. Knee-high boots on a dude. So, Pohatu, pretty cool. Now, let's talk about his masks. So, he's got the Mask of Stone. Now, the Mask of Stone, unfortunately, he doesn't no longer has the Mask of Speed, um, because the new Bionicle, whatever. So, Basically, I, the way I'm imagining it is these are still like the original characters with the original powers. So, um, these colors aren't actually that different if you look at them. Uh, obviously this one's metallic, but overall it's not that different. 
So, um, we put this on, and unlike the larger sets, this one doesn't have gold armor, so it doesn't kind of, it doesn't conflict with any other part of them. So, it's neat. I like it. Um, it, it reminds me of the original when they had the gold masks. I know I don't have the original gold mask for the Toa Mata, but it's what it is. So, now if we actually look at the mask design compared to the original here, it doesn't look too close to the original, but there are still some hints of the original mask in here. Specifically, these two lines here and here as well as the piece here. So it's not exactly like the original, but it's neat. Now, it actually more looks like a fusion of the 2008 version of the mask and the original mask. See this 2008 with the whoosh thing here? And that kind of carries through. I mean, both of them had that. So, if you look at all three of the masks together, uh, this, the middle mask is seems to be a blending of all three, including the color, by the way. I will say, we'll throw in the 2008 iteration of him. I like the version that comes with the battle machine, or the, um, not battle machine, vehicle. I like the version that comes with him with the vehicle better because he shouldn't he has all this extra muscle where he shouldn't. I say muscle lightly. Unfortunately, you still can't use the old masks on the new guy. It's still disappointing, but oh well. You can't use the new masks on the old guys either. But I do like the fact that they brought back the brown color for the toe of stone. Uh, they went with yellow for a while and they went to orange, and I thought that was just strange. So, Toe of Stone is back to being brown, the way it should be, in my opinion, but it's still cool. Ah, Pohatu. So, he comes with a Skull Spider, like the rest. Now, this is just a mask with five legs attached to it. This one came with an extra stinger, for whatever reason. But, um... Kind of neat. And then you can, of course, put this on his head. This one also fits on very well because he doesn't have the obnoxious arm or shoulder armor. Although the legs still don't like to fit. So, and then, yes, he still has the mask launching ability thing. <sighs> so, yeah. It's fun, it's neat, it's interesting that at least they all come with a bad guy. But, um, seriously, Lego, more spiders. Uh, what was the last thing that we did in Hero Factory? Spiders. What did we do in Bionicle 2004 uh, and 5? We did Visorak. Spiders. Um, what do we do with... Uh, wow, I can't think of that off the top of my head now. What do we do with, uh, Exoforce? Spiders. See, everybody likes spiders. I like, I, I've been playing Dragon Age Inquisition lately, and spiders. So, and that was one of the reasons I bought the, um, Skull Spider, Lord of the Skull Spiders. It's because of that game. Because everywhere you go, there's spiders! So everybody seems to like spiders as the common villain. So, okay, we'll go with it. So I got him hanging up on the wall off a picture frame, kind of like crawling across the wall. It's kind of neat. Although, I, I do have to say, all these spiders have four legs, and then Skull Spider has, uh, Lord of the Skull Spiders has six? Yeah, spiders are supposed to have eight. Way to go, educationally act, uh, correct Lego. Anyway, I realize they can't just put on six of them on the mask. Well, they could. Could actually put eight on here, but there didn't. And again, this is a fictional world, so maybe spiders are different. But whatever, still kind of cool. So highly like this guy. He comes with all that you see here. Um, his backside is a little lacking. 
um, more so than the rest, but uh, his proportions in the front more than make up for it. Considering most of the time you're going to be displaying like this, you shouldn't care too much. But I know people throw fits over that, and I can understand it. If you got a guy, you want him to do it. So he's got all the opposability. And this is unique. This one's unique on this guy. His shoulder doesn't, his elbow, sorry, doesn't lock into place like the others. Um, so you can really, like, rotate this any which way you want. It's a free ball sock and joint. Unlike the other, which are somewhat restricted. Like uh, these joints on his knees. They have the uh, path for this to go around, but you can't really go side to side. So the arms have way more wide range of motion than the others. Overall, pretty neat, but I definitely said Captain Boomerang immediately, you know, DC Universe there. Uh, that just something that popped into my mind when I was building this guy. Now, originally, he never had weapons, and he, Lego, to me, has always struggled giving this guy weapons. Like, originally, he just had the hands. Um... Well, these were as close to hands as they had then. And then in uh, 2003, when they did the uh, Toa Nuva, they uh, gave him like pincer claws, which was kind of weird. And this is these were kind of similar to those in the aspect of they open up and close. But, you know, these were more helicopter blades, which was bizarre. Uh, made sense, though. Because he had the mask of speed, he could just uh, spin these in his hand fast enough that he could generate lift. Which is interesting, but then they gave him these turbine-looking hands without hands. So it was bizarre. That's why I like the one that came with the vehicle better. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that one yet. Uh, that's probably going to be one of my upcoming eBay purchases. So, overall, pretty neat have I had fun with this guy I think this is one of the better sets I think all the smaller sets are better than the larger sets anyway um, it just seems to be a common theme I saw when putting them together they didn't try as hard and it feels like with the larger sets even though they have the same number of pieces they just tried too hard and really kind of messed them up. I think they should have just all, even if you wanted to raise all the prices up a few dollars for all of them, they should all just been one size, in my opinion. Like, uh, honestly, they pretty much are just, they tried to make Tahu and Kopaka too broad-chested, and Onawa, well, yeah, you just have to watch his review. Overall, very fun, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I have two more reviews coming tomorrow, so uh, that would be Liwa and the Skull Spider. See you then. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Any comments, concerns, questions, please post the comments down below and I will get back to you. See ya.